Hey guys, today on Brokenomics we're going to be talking MENA protocol, ICOs, IOUs and how to avoid getting wrecked. If you enjoy our content, please like and subscribe. As a small channel, it really helps us out. Cheers. In order to understand why we are worried about MENA's launch, as well as other ICOs to follow, firstly, let's have a quick look at ICOs and the reasons behind them. Why does a project ICO? If it was to raise funds, they'd probably go to the VC that backed them to get where they are in the first place. The real benefit of ICOs is it's great marketing and creates a sense of community and hype around the projects. For the, retail, for the retail investors' point of view, aka you and me, we have the chance to get in early at an attractive price and benefit from, benefit from the hype generated. With a lottery system that the vast majority miss out on, the ICO ramps up FOMO and hype allowing those who secured an allocation to sell on to those who didn't. This hype has led to the creation of IOUs, which have created real problems for investors in legit ICO projects, which we will show you. So IOUs, if you haven't heard of them, they're simply a mechanism to vet on the future price of the asset. They generally occur on small exchanges, and as we mentioned in the Casper video, they're highly illiquid markets that are potentially prone to manipulation. And you have to ask yourself, who's actually trading these things, especially when very often there's no guarantee or any kind of uh, bond that the IOU will be exchanged for future tokens. So one piece of information I did get was an article by Maddie Greenspan. Uh, I'll leave the link in the description for you guys, where he goes through his experience of trading the Casper IOU. And uh, basically, he was able to trade price up, only trading in small amounts. He said he wasn't trading a lot, although he didn't say exactly how much. He was able to trade price up from $2 to $8 and then the uh, market took over and before you knew it the price was up, up at uh, above $25. So if we take this forward then to what, the, um, to what happened post IOU when the actual launch occurred, you can, it's not hard to see the difference, right? You've got one set of massively growing green candles that are just going into the sky and then all of a sudden the launch and you have a lot of red candles and um, yeah one group of people who certainly weren't selling during this period were the people who bought on coin list because their unlock didn't happen on time so you can ask yourself who was managing to get rid of their coins at the, or tokens at these uh, highly inflated prices and even if you look down towards the lower end of the graph like where um, where price starts to level off a little bit th this is still a, like a two dollar fifty two dollar thirty price point which represents a 150x from the ICO option one, although it was the option three who got released, so a 75x. But there is trading going on at these levels. Up high, okay, there's not a lot of trading occurring there, and uh, certainly you could question the legitimacy of it. But um, even if you compare that to price today, that's that's four times what Casper is trading at today. So certainly this inflated sense of value that the ICO created uh, allowed people to yeah make mistakes and, and get themselves in trouble um, if we look at Definity uh, which didn't do an ICO but they did uh, have a launch and they did have an IOU preceding that launch uh, we did a video on it and I can, like uh, there was one guy messaging me saying he wanted to put five grand into into ICP the next day and I was just kind of like mate like did you not watch the video like we're telling you a lot of people have bought this for three and a half cent you know what I mean? There's an IOU trading at $600 now. Uh, I believe the fully diluted market cap at 200 was $90 billion. So we're talking about a $270 billion fully diluted crypto that actually has basically no adoption yet. Like, so it's just, th these IOUs definitely are like a Jedi mind trick, right? Like they, they create an absolute false perception of value. So if you see Casper drop from 40 to 10, you think, oh, 10 is a great price. Well, like it's 670 times or whatever, you know, the ICO price. Um, and people are making this mistake and they're getting burned. Um, so if we just go through the IOU chart versus the sale price and the current market price, Casper was sold at one and a half and three cents. Its IOU hit a high of $40. The current market price is 50 cents. ICP was sold at 3.6 cents and $4.50 in uh, to in the seed investment and venture capitalist uh, strategic rounds. The IOU high was in around the $600 mark and the current market price is 170. So it didn't happen to the same extent and of course we have everything that happened in the general market last week. 
but you know mina 25 cents iou now sitting at 80 dollars what do you think is going to happen when it when it goes to market you know and and that's exactly why we're not going near this thing on the, until price settles down because we weren't actually fortunate enough to get an allocation in the launch so what do we think is going to happen with mina well there's going to be a dump there's been an artificial perception of what a fair price is for the project and won't be buying the dip we'll be buying the cliff look at casper eight six four two where's the dip there it's a cliff then there'll be massive amounts of anger and negativity on social media directed at the projects and uh, yeah investors will lose confidence Joe Murray 27 makes a great point with these IOUs creating like a mental peg for investors to hang their exit strategy on and create an uh, artificial value of the tokens there and then this results in legitimate projects like getting abuse as we can see here with ICP and Casper with um, users and investors essentially just getting wrecked and each of the graphs looks like a rug pull. So with all that said what needs to happen? Well I went into the MENA Telegram group and I have to say fair play to the mods they're completely denouncing the IOU they're saying it's no relevance here but they're also saying that you shouldn't talk about price or price action which in a way is kind of counterproductive in this context like they just all these projects need to go balls out in social media and I know it's a catch-22 situation for them but they have to say these prices are ridiculous and not representative of the value of our blockchains at this point in time like that's the truth of it you know they're they're totally ridiculous and by not saying it they're actually just creating bad will towards themselves uh, from something that's uh, out of their control so like look at the look at the backlash Casper faced, you know, great project. Um they did say that we have no affiliation with these IOUs, but actually, you know, they needed to be shouting it from the rooftops. Um so hopefully the project later on will learn their lesson. Another thing we can do is certainly to look at coin market cap. I mean, why are these guys listing these IOUs? You know, it doesn't make sense. There's plenty of small cap legitimate projects that aren't listed on CoinList. But as soon as an IOU pops up, you know what I mean? The very next day, it's up on CoinMarketCap. Uh, so they need to sort that out and they need to just, you know, accept that these tiny liquidity pools for something that's not even guaranteed to ever be exchanged for a token in many cases uh, is not advertised on their site. So in terms of our plan for MENA, again, this isn't a MENA bashing vid. This is, this is a vid that's just saying there's something very, very wrong with this process. And particularly in the case of IOUs, they're creating, they're making a problem, a bad problem worse, a lot worse. So our plan, same advice as the ICP vid. Be patient, wait and see, let the selling pressure subside. And perhaps maybe averaging in is something that we'll look to do on this. So as, uh, yeah, we don't get wrecked. So cheers yeah. for that, lads. Uh, appreciate it and uh, yeah give us a sub if you enjoy the content cheers